welcome to another of my galactic challenge guides. Before you watch this video, please note that both of these lineups can be quite RNG dependent, either requiring a perfect start or consistent turn meet again, and it took me quite a few attempts to nail down winning runs for both lineups. With that out of the way, we'll start with my first lineup which is Imperial Troopers. Once the turn meter train kicks off and you've landed days on all enemies including Joe Lee, it's a fairly straightforward battle. The hard part is the start. Jedi Knight Revan will go first and may mess up your battle from the get go. The only two actions that didn't merit a restart was when he marked Piet as mine is R8, he survived the damage, or when he used his AoE and Gideon dodged. The latter may not be applicable to those with a G13 Gideon in which he should survive Revan's AoE, but as mine is only G9 that would require a restart. Once you've survived the opening, you want to start working on Zagabar. He does have high defense and crit avoidance, so it may take a while to knock him down, but you'll use this opportunity to stack Emperor's Trap to at least 30 or 40 to ensure Gideon or Piet can land their dazed AoEs. Once dazed, the enemy will no longer be able to gain turn meter from resisting debuffs, thus giving you more control of the battle and allowing you to well exceed 8 turns in a row. As soon as Zagabar and Mission are down, Start working on Bastilla, ensuring she triggers Saviour. If you trigger Saviour on Jedi Knight Revan, he could potentially cleanse his team and more than likely end your run. Of note, Joe Lee is immune to turn meter reduction, making him a persistent issue, but as long as you daze him and your squad is constantly feeding the turn meter train, he should only interfere with your stacks of Empress Trap a few times. Finally, an upside to using this squad is that they aren't dependent on good mods as my next lineup is. As you'll see after the battle, my troopers, except for Piet, mostly have trash mods equipped, with Gideon actually missing a few.
much more RNG dependent to pull off, mainly because we're reliant on Hoff Rebel Scouts basic to constantly feed the team turn meter. Unlike the previous battle, the strategy this time involves triggering Saviour first and taking out Joe Lee as soon as possible. This will involve a constant back and forth between hitting Bastilla and dispelling Zalbar's taunt. Triggering Saviour on Bastilla isn't too difficult. It's taking out Joe Lee after that's the pain. You need excellent RNG to ensure your team's gaining enough turn meter to ensure they take him out before he gets Bastilla's battle meditation, can use an ability or a Jedi Knight revenues is marked and calls him to assist and heals him in the process. If Joe Lee gets the former, you'll need to bounce back and forth between using damage dealing abilities on Bastilla and non-damage dealing abilities on Joe Lee until battle meditation expires. Once Jolie is down, it becomes significantly easier, and you can start working on Jedi Knight Revan and Bastilla. We'll be leaving Zagabar until last, essentially using his slow speed as an opportunity to get our 8 turns in a row, if you've not managed by that point. As I pointed out at the start of the video, this lineup is dependent on very good mods that is high speed and health throughout, especially speed on Hoth Rebel Scout. Chupio is only in this lineup for his stat boosting unique, as the enemy is highly tenacious, his active abilities are quite useless here. Any questions? Ask below or find me on Discord. Till the next video.